Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on simplifying a over root b to the power of n where n is large. Let's look at the question. We want to express 2 over root 5 all to the power of 5 in the form a root 5 over b where a and b are integers. So let's write that out. We're trying to solve 2 over root 5 to the power of 5. So we're trying to work out the value of 2 over root 5 to the power of 5. Now in general, if you have a over b all to the power of n, then you apply that power of n to both the numerator and the denominator. So it'll be a to the power of n over b to the power of n. So that's the key property, the key algebraic property we want to use here. So that power of 5 there, we're going to apply to both the numerator, the 2, and to the root 5. So we're going to have 2 to the 5 over root 5 to the power of 5, and I'm going to put the root 5 in brackets just for clarity there, so it's clear that I mean all of root 5 to the power of 5. Now, 2 to the power of 5 just means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 32, that's a good one to know off by heart. And the bottom here, the denominator, we've got root 5 times root 5 times root 5, let's just write that out in full, so root 5 times root 5, and it's to the power of 5, so I need to write the root 5 five times. So we've got this. Now, let's think about this. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5, because any third times itself just gets rid of the square root. So that is 5. That root 5 times that root 5 is also 5. So now we've got 5 times 5 times that remaining root 5 there, which doesn't pair up with anything. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times root 5 is just 25 root 5. So we get 25 root 5 like that. Now, it wants in the form a root 5 over b. The root 5 is at the top. Remember, we don't like thirds in the denominator of a fraction, so we need to rationalise this. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by whatever surge you have in the denominator, so root 5. We saw that in the previous video. You don't need to times by the 25 we have here. It's just that root 5 that we're going to times top and bottom by. Now, 32 times root 5 is just 32 root 5. And then, if we times these denominators together, we times the non thirds together first, so the non rooty things. So you've got the 25 here, there's no non third here, so it's just 25. And then you times the thirds together, so root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So we've got multiplied by 5, and if I just simplify that, it's got 32 root 5. 25 times 5 is 125, and that is the final answer. It is in this form something root 5 over something, which is exactly what I've got here.